Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today, I gotta do some welding and replace this rusty rocker panel. The reason why these rusted is just that uh, rubber seal around the door was bad and this car was parked underneath the tree somewhere and just uh, everything got clogged up, nothing drained and it just rusted out so I can't find a brand new piece but what I did is I got the good used piece from uh, uh, Yugo that we parted out actually my buddy did so I'm gonna cut this section off just the top and uh, replace it so I gotta drill these original spot welds and replace it from here up to here and probably cut this section out right through here then once all that's welded in then I got cavity wax that I can stick a hose right through this hole and protect that from rusting because anytime you weld if you're not gonna protect it it's gonna rust now my first rodeo cutting and welding I've done that a couple of my cars so I'm, I'm familiar with it and uh, just patience Cool it down so you don't overheat it and warp the metal. Alright, so first thing first, gotta grind off as much as you can. If you see these uh, spots right here, the knot, grind it off, that means those are the spot welds we have to drill out. Um, after we drill that out, then I can. I usually like to get my air chisel and separate it or you don't need it you can just grab a skinny screwdriver or knife uh, whatever you got to separate it then after that's all done I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna cut out this new one and put it against it and mark it down where I gotta cut it but uh, pretty much have to cut everything around so then I'm gonna cut it and this is the line I'll probably use this is a factory some kind of black undercoating they used back in the day and uh, cut it out separate it and uh what I like to do when I drill these out just kind of work in a circling motion or I guess I could just get a bigger drill bit but uh, just uh, try not to go through a second layer if you do you can always go and weld it from the other side but uh, then when I'm ready to separate these I'll drill, drill these out way through and separate it and this is where I'm gonna use to weld these together from this side with the pliers holding it I upgraded my drill bit to uh, what size is this? This is a 3 8 3 8 drill bit. So, bigger drill bit goes faster, and then just uh, keep drilling. If you have air chisel, it helps, but you don't have to do it. But this is why I like air chisel. If you drill those spots, well. You can just go and separate it and look there's a hole so there's one spot weld I missed right here that's why I stopped uh, let's see there should be I think there's a little one right there too but yeah air chisels help but I've done without air chisels yeah there's a spot weld right there and if you look, the, only the front piece is getting bent, the rear one still stays intact. So there's a small spot weld right there I have to get. I cut the section off just a little bit higher, that way when I put the new one on, I'm gonna be actually grinding this paint off and the welds are gonna be right on the corner so that's why I cut it a little bit higher 
and as you can see everything's already loose uh, this car is already reinforced with the cage so nothing will move but if you work on one of these without the cage that's not supported the car might actually flex so I would suggest you reinforce it with a piece of metal or something across um, but yeah we got a little bit more uh, drilling here then I can separate the top layer and uh, there you have it uh, looks pretty healthy underneath other than there's some surface rust on the bottom but I'll take care of that I'm gonna actually uh, clean that up right now and I uh, use my rust inhibitor and use my first air gun blow everything out and that should take care of that problem that stuff that I use actually neutralizes any rust in contact so yeah first thing first uh, get this cap there's a little cap here that you just pull out and get that air gun in there and just push everything out it should come out and uh, this is where I'm gonna get my cavity wax through that hole but these cars have a little cap and uh, should take care of that no problem grind these off as well and uh, it's not not too bad uh, I'm not gonna cut anything on the bottom because it's all healthy other than that I mean I got a small corner here just the surface rust I'll take care of that that's no biggie but uh, got one more spot well right here before I can separate this piece okay so I got that all uh, cleaned up inside the best I could I still gonna wire wheel uh, inside of that there is a cavity wax in the next section but not in here here it was just some kind of paint protection whatever uh, it wasn't too bad it's more like on top of that rocker panel just because of that speed it was holding water and mud uh, like I said this car was underneath some kind of tree and that's why it has this problem uh, driver's side is actually really really good so I don't have to do any repairs there just some small surface thrust and couple spots uh, so what I like to do for this next step is use my wire wheel to clean this section off where I'm gonna weld the new one on uh, you can do uh, you can grind it off but anytime when you grind you're uh, weakening that metal it's already super thin so I just like to take my wire wheel and not take any metal only paint and that protection that way it's not weakening the metal and then I'm gonna cut off the section I need uh, when I get the new one ready to put it on and test everything but uh, yeah just wire wheel clean this off really really good all the places where I'm gonna weld and then get the new one and start I have a rocker panel in my vise and I'm just drilling all the way through it's a lot of holes so let me tell you that they made sure that um, they put a lot of holes through and uh, after that's done then I can cut all the way right here on the border that's I want to cut all this section off and uh, compare it to the old one uh, once that's done I might actually even start the back section today because uh, this back section is more complicated I gotta go bring my new one well and my old one and compare it uh problem is finding these in the states if i could find a brand new section in the states i would but uh i gotta use uh old pieces that i have they're just in a good condition and use that <laughs> I got my pliers here holding a piece uh, I'm gonna cut this section off right straight down here 
I'm waiting for a store to open up tomorrow. I lost my uh, spot while the pliers, which are uh, pliers holding it between the welds, so I can weld this piece, but I still have to cut this section off right here uh, and then start welding. I did um, got a little bit bigger gap here. Reason why when I cut this section off from the other Yugo, I cut a little bit too short and I had a rust spot here that I wanted to go higher but I'll fill that in no big deal that's not a problem done it worse so uh, I'm gonna now cut this section straight down then I'm gonna work on this lip here uh, too bad I can't use butt uh, clamps what they call them because uh, just the way it's angled plus uh, I can't get the clamps out once I'm done, so it will just have to be uh, with that little magnets and pliers and whatnot, but I can get it done. So for my next job is to cut this line all the way across, but I like to use my Dremel tool just because this blade is really thin and it gives me a perfect gap for my butt welding that's what it's called I didn't name it so if I use just a regular uh, grinding wheel blade even my small one it's just way too thicker and I found out these uh, little Milwaukee blades just perfect so that's what I, I already got my drawing all the way across and by the time I'm done I'm gonna have a perfect gap to where I can uh, weld my rocker panel I cleaned everything up good. I sprayed some brake cleaner inside. There's three drain holes in this section here. There's one in the back, uh, one on the front. I cleaned them all up. Uh, they all seem to be unplugged. So next thing to do is get my uh, rust converter and just get the brush and brush everything good inside before I close this section up. And uh, okay, so one. Thing. there's two holes one that goes inside there and one that goes inside the rocker panel so I'm gonna get my cavity wax after all it's closed up and just spray it inside I got like four feet hose that goes inside got everything uh, rust protected with the rust inhibitor brush on stuff that I use there's a lot of different brands uh, now it's time to close this up and just spot weld it there and there and uh, let it dry. I'm running out of I'm running out of gas, so I gotta wait till tomorrow to actually go fill it up. So now today I'm just gonna spot weld this piece back in and until I get my gas uh, so I can finish it. Okay. So this is how I do these joints and I usually uh, join them right in the corner. I uh, get a piece of metal just like this, uh, put it between it and that way I can lift it up and then I get another piece that I just go around and make sure it's all straight and even and then I just start spot welding like that and I leave a little nice gap uh, for my welds that's where the welds go in and that way when you grind everything flat those welds still keep these metal uh, together so that's just how I do it and then once I'm all done on the bottom then I join them on the top uh, where my spot welds will be that's just how I do it I'm not professional by any means don't listen to anything I say I just a hobbyist like a lot of people are and this is how I do it uh, I'm sure there's some guys do this for a living probably shaking their head and saying that's not how you do it but uh, that's how I do it and so far so good
like to, after a while, I like to cool it down just so the metal doesn't uh, shrink or whatnot. And uh, so far it's looking good. I'm gonna wait for my spot while it's the last thing to do, just because uh, I don't have the right pliers that I like to use when I do spot walls. I lost mine and I'm just gonna wait to buy another set. But yeah, just uh, make sure you have leave a little gap so you that way your welds can actually go between the two metals, the gap that you put in. I ran out of gas. I had to go get some more gas. We're back in business. Also, I got more pliers for this kind of job. And these are the pliers that I was missing. I don't know where I left them. And it's just nice when you spot well these, they actually hold the metal together while you can uh, spot weld it. And this is a spot weld without the gas. That's where I ran out spot out with the gas so you can see the difference uh got everything welded up other than these spot welds and then i'm gonna grind everything flat and once you grind everything flat uh everything should be nice and even uh just make sure you take your time when you do these do do an inch couple inches at a time Cool it down, then jump a few inches over, weld again, and just keep cooling it down. So all I gotta do now is just uh, start and spot weld all these around. This is the last spot weld I had. Now I just gotta grind everything off and check for any small pinholes. And I'm sure there's gonna be some few I have to fill. And uh, that's it. Then uh, after that's done, then I'll go ahead and do the cavity wax before it starts rusting because welds and bare metal does not like to be exposed for too long uh, and yeah these uh, spot welds all went through so that's good and now we have a nice rocker panel that's used but it was in a good condition so uh, no more rust holes of all of this work this one right here is gonna be the most challenging Guys, I have to cut this whole section off. There's no repairing that. I'm not gonna patch this up. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this whole piece right here somewhere, cut it, drill the spot walls and whatnot, and I'm gonna see where I'm gonna cut it. That's where the roll cage and all this support come in handy so nothing moves out of place. Just like with that rocker panel, everything was solid. So I gotta do how it starts grinding. And I also have um, this area right here. I'm gonna cut this right here and patch that along with this. There's a few rust spots here too. Uh, this right here is just a little surface rust. It's all ground down. I got a little bit here left. If you see, there's some pinholes, yes. You have pinholes, nothing new. Now I just gotta go through and weld all those pinholes and then grind it down a little bit more. We got one, I got two more spot welds here. But if you can see, see how that, those two metals join really nice, no gaps. That's what you want. That's why these pliers come in handy. Uh, or you can just grab some of these but I like these because actually they hold really nice while you go in there and you 
well that so no fancy machine needed to spot well now I'm just gonna go through all these pinholes fill them up grind them down and uh, be done with this side so got the bottle cavity wax got my long hose and I usually just uh, tape it to a long rod and then you insert the cavity wax right through the holes of your rocker pan. push it all the way in then you hook up your cavity wax and push on the nozzle and work your way back all the way till your hose is out and then go from the next side up push on the nozzle and work your way back slowly As you can see, there's stuff already dripping, so don't be afraid of that. That means it's working. Now I'm gonna do the same thing from the other side because this hose is not long enough. So now I gotta go and work my way from back. So I recommend you do this as soon as you're done with welding that rocker panel, just because uh, rust will start so got a hole right here and i want to push my uh hose all the way and that hose usually goes up to here i think halfway so yeah as you can see there's already wax coming out uh this stuff it's pretty good you can find it at uh, amazon or Iowa's there's a lot of places you can find this and then I'll show you how to clean this as soon as I'm done Yeah, that's done now let me show you how this works there's a little six nozzles on top and uh, when you hook this up yep it works pretty good I don't want to waste any more stuff but uh, yeah now let's go clean this up after after each use you want to use this super solvent on that hose and nozzles you got otherwise you're not going to be able to use it but watch how it works yeah pretty cool this uh this hose it's not too expensive but not too cheap so after each use you just uh, use that super solvent spray that out cleans that up the hose and you can reuse it again uh, and now you just let that cavity wax drip out and uh, it works good I've done that on a few of my cars including my Fiat boost I did and uh, that's it that being said that's enough for this video uh, next time I am going to be replacing this windshield piece actually gonna replace this whole piece I just gotta go take this off my donor Yugo that I got 
that supposedly have a good one but I don't know the condition until I take the windshield off and uh, I'm gonna see it's late it's time for me to go to bed actually it's uh, almost midnight uh, so please if you like my work like share subscribe help me out it doesn't cost you anything it means a lot to me and uh, this, this is gonna be a fun project I am not giving up on it like my competitor my uh, competitor from Canada that I was supposed to race he gave up on his build so that's not me I don't give up that easy I actually don't ever give up so uh, fun project till next time peace out mm -hmm.